the Windows NT hack for Windows XP, local privilege escalation without using any external tools. Reboot the system. This is assuming that you are not uh, in the system already, that you don't have access. When the system boots up, it's going to start booting into Windows 7. Go ahead and force reboot. That way the OS thinks there's a problem. It's going to come up with the launch startup repair. Go into the launch startup repair. This screen pops up where it says it's starting to search for problems. Let it go all the way through. If you get this pop up, try to cancel. Let it attempt repairs. This pops up. You have three options. View problem details. Scroll down. Click on the text file. Use notepad to open up a browser. Computer your local C drive, Windows, System32, find cmd.exe, first, get ahead of myself, set hc, Rename Go back to command prompt, copy the binary, paste a duplicate of the binary, rename it to set HC. Exit Notepad. Reboot the system. We don't know this user's password, but we have renamed setHC to something else and replaced it with command prompt. setHC is the Windows accessibility binary for the sticky keys. Shift five times will pull up command prompt. Command prompt actually runs as system. Within system, you have root access to the system. You can do anything. You can rename passwords, rename users, delete users, add users, anything you want, your system. We don't know this guy's password. But Net user admin asterisk. Let's us redo the password. Let's do T E S T T E S T. We are system, by the way, so I can run Explore if I wanted to. It does error out on some things. You can't open up my computer. You can't open up network drives. Um, the token doesn't like a graphical environment, but. Local privilege escalation.